It could be a significant day for the family of Henrietta Lacks. They are expected to be in court in the morning for settlement talks with the biotech company they are suing for using Lacks HeLa cells. Lacks cells were taken without permission while she was a patient at Johns Hopkins in the 50s. Her cells are responsible for several medical and cosmetic advancements, and her family says they've never been compensated for them. WJZ is live tonight. Jessica Albert has more on tomorrow's court proceedings. Jessica. Kelsey, Henry Lax's family is expected in court at 10 a.m. tomorrow. They filed this lawsuit about two years ago with help from their attorney, renowned civil rights attorney Ben Crump, who says that this case is unprecedented. We are proud to say that no longer will Henry Lax be ignored. No longer will Henry Lax be ignored. Henrietta Lacks's family is expected in court Monday to continue their fight for compensation for her immortal cells, known as HeLa cells. Lacks's cells were taken without her permission while she was being treated for cervical cancer at Johns Hopkins in 1951. When doctors biopsied her cancer cells, they realized instead of dying, they doubled every 20 to 24 hours. Her cells have played a critical role in several medical and cosmetic advancements. They were used to develop the polio vaccine and more recently the COVID-19 vaccine. However, her family says they've never been compensated for Lax's medical contributions. In 2021, the family sued biotech company Thermo Fisher Scientific for using the cells. The company has argued in the past that no law prohibits them from replicating the cells and that the family should not be able to sue because too much time has passed. The Lax family attorneys say that's not true. Each time that there is a regeneration and selling for profit and commercialization of these sales, the statute of limitations starts all over again. And just this past week, Maryland lawmakers introduced legislation that would posthumously award Henrietta Lacks with a congressional gold medal for her medical uh, contributions. We will monitor the court proceedings tomorrow and bring you updates on them as soon as we get them. Reporting live tonight at 6.30, Jessica Alpert for WJZ.